Hi guys, mabuhay! Welcome to In the Life of Chini and Joy, the cooking edition. This is Chini and for tonight we are going to make chicken noodle soup a la Ryan and Lana. Mainly because this recipe is of Ryan's and my mother-in-law. Uh, but there's only a slight variation because mom loves to cook uh, chicken noodle soup uh, traditionally while Ryan loves to put lemon on his. So check out the picture. That's all the ingredients that you need. And uh, let's start. So for vegetables, you only use carrots and celery okay so i will be um speaking in my language and english so so that it's fun so this is celery i use four stalks i already washed my vegetables and my carrots this is the um, organic one with different colors. I don't know because Ryan is so mother nature. If he can get away with it, he'll buy everything organic. Um, so, kasi, ako taman. Oo, sa amin. There's one thing I had to learn fast, like lightning speed fast, is cooking. And kasi nga, because ako yung tamad and ako yung epal sa kusina, Sisipagin ka rin, maghanap ng mga tools to help you, you know, fasten your work and stuff. So, I found this at a scene on TV stores, outlet namin. It's called the Clever Cutter. So, this is what we're going to use to cut the celery and the carrots. So, you cut the tip in the back or at the bottom here. Back. Back. So, ayan. It has its own cutting board, tiny cutting board, and this is very sharp, so we have to be careful. And then, you just adjust kung ano yung size na gusto nyo. So, I'm just gonna do this. Ayan. My boys love vegetables. So, as much as possible, marami yung, ano, marami yung gulay. Sometimes nga, mas marami yung gulay kaysa sa meat. Oh, oh. Ayan. So, kung may naririnig kayo mga crackle-crackle dyan sa, sa background ko, yung ano yan, yung food stove yan sa likod, yan din yung gagamitin natin para magluto ng soup. Oh, oh. Kasi nga, ano ngayon dito, 29 degrees Fahrenheit. So, kailangan ko pa muna i-google ha, pa-convert-convert kasi hindi gumagana yung utak ko ngayon. Oo, nasa ano lang ako. Autopilot lang ako ngayon. Oo, habang natutulog si Kian, luluto tayo. Kasi pagising nun, nako, lagot. So, yun. Hindi ako marunong magluto when I first moved here. Hindi ako marunong magluto. Oo. Si Ryan, very versatile siya sa kitchen. Oh, kahit ano yung lutuin niya, masarap talaga. So, syempre, ayaw naman ng lola niyo mapahiya, no? Alam ko lang lutuin, kanin, tsaka mag-prito-prito, ganyan. So, I had to learn fast. Especially, you know, Ryan's always busy at work. So, I have to do my part. Ayan. Kasi nga, dalagang Pilipina ako. Meron ako magluto. Oo, akala niya, nung, yung, nung pinangasawa niya ako, galing ako magluto. Ayan. So, tapos na tayo sa, ano, sa celery. At islipat na lang natin siya sa plate. Para ready na siya mamaya. Tapos, ngayon, yung carrots naman yung aanhin natin. Ganun, ganun pa rin yung ano, ganun pa rin. So, 
Pwede mo na nga lang siyang i-cut sa ano, diretso. Kaya lang ako, kinakat ko talaga yung mga, yung edges. Boom, ganun ka. Roots, oh. Ayan. Cut that. O, tapos sa loob, ganito. O, oh, di ba? Napagod ako kakagamit ng cutter. <laughs> Ito na magko-conventional na lang tayo. Kasi mas mabilis to. Mas mabilis nga. Pang tawad kaya na nakakapagod. If that makes sense. Mas mabilis, no? Nakakatakot, no? No, kaya nga pag ako yung nasa kusina, si Raya nagtatago. Ayaw niya. Lalo na pag may hawak akong kutsili. There. So, we're done with the carrots. Usually, um, this is two cups of veggies, like two cups carrots, two cups celery. Um, but it really depends on you how much or how many you put. But since it's just me and my boys, I try to portion it. Kasi dati, Ryan would scold me when whenever I cook. Kasi nga, I cook like I'm about to feed the battalion. So I am slowly but surely <laughs> learning how to properly portion my meals. So I just cut the lemon in half. Okay, so I did the vegetables first before I tackled the, the chicken to avoid food contamination, especially salmonella. Yeah, I have kian. And Ryan's very sensitive, so I have to be sure and safe of whatever I do for how I handle chicken. And so you can basically use whatever um, part of the chicken you want. But like I said, kasi nga ako taman, I only use um, two breasts. Um, they're boneless and skinless. And so you just slice it in cubes. And then we will season it with salt and pepper. But if, if you live in, you know, like a cold environment, like us here in the mountains, or, you know, if you're ever in the northeast region where it's insufferably cold, during the winter you know you will learn how to really appreciate soup like seriously we had um a snowstorm but it was only nine inches so it's not that bad but today and i think for the rest of the week it's going to be very cold i think um, if I heard him correctly when he was talking on the phone, I think Ryan was saying or talking about single digits for the week, and that's not good. So we're done slicing the or cubing or however you want to say it, the chicken breast. So let me just wash my hands and rinse the chicken a little bit and then we will season it together all right guys so i just finished rinsing the chicken for those of you who have their brows raised through the roof or furrow why i rinse the chicken um well, because in the Philippines, when we cook, we always wash our meat first before we season them. So it's not really anything specific. It's just force of habit. I also washed my hands, but I just touched it here. So 
um, the salt. Just a pinch, if you will. Then pepper. The same thing. Okay, so I actually forgot to buy the sweet onion for the soup. I was in a rush with Ken. He was getting sleepy and very cold. So I am just going to substitute the onion for now with minced onion. And I am going to put it with the chicken as a season. Just a pinch for flavor. Well, not really a pinch. I would say the amount that I'm putting right now is one teaspoon minced onion if you don't have onions but if you do um because here in america their onions are this big and in the philippines we use red onions or what they call here shallots and ours is like just this big so because it's already flavorful maybe one and just um quarter it and then, but if you're here, I usually use, you know, for us, um, just half of the sweet onion and then you just slice it. Okay, so now I have it. Of course, we have to mix it. I just use my hands. It's clean. I washed it. Now, we'll just let it sit here for a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and fire up the pot. Hi guys! So, I already put the pot there with a tablespoon of olive oil. That's what I use. Kasenga Ryan, healthy, healthy, mother nature, organic. So, while it's heating up, let's go get the chicken. Nag change position na ako kasi magluluto na tayo. If you're wondering what this is, that and that, 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 yes. This is the Jurassic stove. And the teacher, teacher. Um, this is the Jurassic stove that we inherited when we bought the house. It's actually really cool. Very, like, this side is, you know, like electric function, and this side is wood burning. And I believe that this um, Jurassic equipment or this stove is older than me and Ryan combined. So this is basically antique. But it's really cool, especially during winter when you know, because we only have electric baseboard for heating, it's very expensive to heat up the entire house. But when we have this going, like I have right now, because like I told you guys, it's 29 degrees and it's really chilly and it's, it's like windy a little bit outside. This actually can heat up the entire house. Like... Once you get this going, it can heat up, it can heat this up up until maybe 99 degrees Fahrenheit. It's just like we're in the Philippines that sometimes we have to open the windows and the doors for a little bit just to let the cold air in. That's how hot this baby gets and it saves us a lot of money. So while I, you know, while I'm doing this, let's put the chicken. And to play the chicken.
because I forgot the onion, I'm going to show you guys for a little bit. Because I forgot the onion, um, I just added it when I seasoned the chicken. Usually, I put the onion first, saute it, and then that's when I add the chicken. But because I forgot it, because I'm a little dum dum, I just put the chicken first. All right. Smells good. I'm hungry. Okay, so I let the chicken cook for a little bit and now I'm gonna add the vegetables. And yes, I add the vegetables to saute with the chicken before I add the chicken stock. So let's do that. So I basically just dump all this into that. Ay, 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 it's hot. So I am going to show you guys what I did. Follow me. Follow me. There. That's what I did. Okay. Right. So we add a little bit of salt and pepper right now for the vegetables. And then we mix everything. So here's a chini variation in this soup. Um, Ryan has an aversion for garlic. But being Filipino and personally love garlic to death, I like to put a little bit of garlic powder into the soup. Now this recipe doesn't really involve any garlic. I just like to put it for flavoring more than anything. So here's the garlic powder. Ryan won't know until he's done eating anyway. Just a little bit. Okay, Ryan, watch. Just a little bit. There, just a pinch. So now we are going to put our soup or our base. Where's mine? left it on the dining table I'm sorry um I use this chicken stock from kitchen basics mainly 
because this was recommended to me by my mother-in-law after all mothers know no, mothers know best tongue twister but seriously though this is actually very very good like this is the only um base that they use to make their chicken soup and i love it um i really do so in the philippines we i don't think we usually use stocks we use broth our nor cubes chicken broth but like i said kasi nga tamad ako ito yung ginagamit ko para buhos buhos na lang i don't need to make timpla timpla you know okay so let's shake it for a little bit yeah pa na yung gamit ko ng a little bit no but puro a little bit ako okay and then we just pour this this is um equivalent to I believe I think this is three cups. I think two and a half or three cups. So we just pour it here. Grabe ang hirap ng buhay ko, no? Grabe talaga. Oh. Hirap magluto. Okay, so here's the part where I put the first half of the lemon to cook with the soup. The other half is mostly for your taste. If you want it more sour, then you can add the other half. But usually, I, I put one because we love our soup sour. Ayan. Ito yung kaaway ko. Mukha niya to. Oh. Ayan. Ayan yung ninyari sa kaaway ko. Joke! So let me just wash my hands. And then we mix it and let it simmer. Yeah. And then I'll be right back. Now we are going to add the noodles. So, eto, eto yung natera. What I use is um, it's egg noodles. This is approximately two cups of noodles. So, ito lang naman yung kailangan namin. Kasi kami nga lang. So, let's put it here. Ayan. Inubos ko na siya. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. This is the This. Ayan. The dancing mood. Yeah. Okay. i show you. So let's just wait for that to cook. And then ito yung yung gumising na siya, oh. Can you say hi? Hi. What are you doing? Playing with your mower? Good. Hi guys! So now that the noodles is almost at al dente, we are going to be seasoning it with salt and pepper and taste the sourness of the soup and then we're ready to go. Because since I used the wood stove, it's so lit and so powerful that it didn't take long to cook the soup but if you're using just the ordinary stove i usually uh put the heat on medium for 10 minutes and then i let it simmer for 
about 30 minutes if we're not in a rush and that's when I put the noodles so it really gets cooking there and at the same time the soup simmers so let's season oh, the lid. You know, salt and pepper is um, for your taste. So if you like it more salty, like how I would like it to compromise with Ryan's sourness, then, you know, add however many or how much you like. But I normally just use a pinch of both. Alright, so let's taste it. Mm. Okay, so it's really good. Siyempre, kasi ako nagluto. But, um, knowing Ryan, you know, like, knowing Ryan, he'd want a little bit more lemon. So I'm not gonna finish the entire half. I'm just gonna squeeze some on here for the taste. So, ilipat na muna natin siya. Let's transfer it somewhere cool so that we don't overcook the noodles because it's boiling so let's just transfer this here and then I'll show you guys the finished product okay come on so that is the chicken noodle soup a la Lana and Ryan or a la Ryan and Lana with the chini cheat garlic powder. where's my son Ayon. and of course because we're doing chicken noodle soup in the Philippines we're used to eating rice three times a day at every meal right but tonight we are gonna do it american style bread so with every soup i prefer um italian bread because i like how soft it is once you bite into it and especially with butter so yeah and we are pairing our soup with italian bread and butter so there you go guys thank you so much for joining me tonight in preparing our simple dinner and of course i am going to write in the description box the ingredients and the step-by-step -step that i used for tonight thank you so much this is chinny in in the life of chinny and joy and see you guys again soon Bye!